Hey guys, me again with a, another YouTube video. So this is the third video of the night. We've already done the L85 and the Ripper Master Edition. You can see them on the left hand side of the screen in the top corner. Um, tonight, uh, for our third video, we're going to be taking a look at kind of like a, a reskin almost, but a few differences here and there. We're going to be taking a look at the M21 sniper rifle, kind of featured in um, Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. Uh, now, then, Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare is, is a black stock with a different barrel shroud on it, but I like mine more of a wooden stock, so I went with the, the wooden stock version. So, this is what it looks like to be rendered in Pavre, as you can see. Wooden stock version with a uh, kind of like a a walnut. I, I want to say more of like a walnut, but there's a little bit of red in it, so kind of maybe a redwood um, hardwood stock. So this is a really really cool model. This was super super simple to build. Uh, I had to change like a uh, basically it's like one or two things, but I figured since I had the uh, laptop and my M14 video kind of didn't do the M14 justice. I was going to go ahead and uh, make a video about the M21 sniper rifle showing it as a much, much, kind of like a more in detail, much better uh, review. So this is what it looked like in LED to Parvary. This is what it looks like in LED. As you can see, this side is much lighter. The other side has like shadow to it, so you can't see the wood as much. Um, so much, not much difference between uh, my M14 and this model. Um, basically, the only difference is throwing on a rail system and then the scope itself, and then changing up how the stock looks. That's basically the only difference between um, the M14 and the M21. Uh, I believe in real life, like a chrome-lined barrel or something like that is like the actual difference, but I don't know that for certain, so I can't say that. Uh, so we're going to make it kind of like a easy breezy. So the whole reason I built the M14 originally and now the M21 is because I wanted to do experiment with how I did the stock and things like that. So this here is a curved kind of real flat, just simple, plain uh, butt rest. Um, pretty simple, like I said. Not much to it. The bottom of the stock, a little bit different. Here's our sling mount here, but as you can see, these bricks are flipped upside down so that you get a real slight kind of curve to them. All the way through up to this point here. All upside down, flipped real nicely. Then on the, our, kind of like our stock grip here, our pistol grip if you want to call it that, all these bricks are flipped sideways so that you can get a real nice hold on these bricks as well. So it's really comfortable. On the top of it, all these bricks are also flipped sideways so you can get a comfortable hold on these as well. And then the bricks on top of the stock itself where your cheek goes are just normally right side up. Real nice curved here so that it feels good against your cheek. Trigger guard, the bricks here are actually upside down. Trigger itself is right here. All these bricks here are sideways. Magazine release right here, locks into the back of the magazine up there. 20 round magazine. Oh, the, also, the other difference between M21 and M14, M14 can go uh, full auto. Uh, these cannot, these are semi-automatic restricted only so that's another thing these bricks are sideways however these bricks here are correct and uh, how they are aligned as well as this brick these bricks here where your hand would go your hand guard are upside down this has kind of like the same curve going on to it that the uh, buttstock had here's our front sling mount there the handguard or the uh, barrel shroud up here is a typical barrel shroud, and this one has uh, the kind of like the grooves cut into it with no vent holes to keep the mud and dirt and things like that out of 
it. All these are flipped the right side up, so these are correctly um, placed. The uh, this is part of the gas system here, and the operating rod and things. Like, this is basically the operating rod, uh, but that's kind of weird to say on these rifles because most people confuse the operating rod for being the charging handle. So, operating rod here moves back with our bolt that is here. As you can see, the charging handle that comes out the side here is curved like most of my AK models, so it's real comfortable to grab onto. Part of the difference between the M14 and the M21 is that there is an scope um, attachment and rail that sits right above our shell ejection port here, taking place of your iron sights. The iron sights are rendered useless when you have your uh, rifle set up this way. This is a three stud wide rail on two studs worth of uh, space with Allen's custom Legos uh, scope. All credit to him for the scope design. Tutorial is on his channel as it has always been for my models. Then in the front here we have our barrel and part of our, our gas tube. Gas tube is down here in the bottom connects to the barrel up here. And then our barrel comes out into our iron sight here. And then I want to say this is a bayonet lug, but I'm not entirely sure. And then we have our very standard bird cage styled flash suppressor or flash hider or a muzzle brake, whatever you want to call it. So like I said, the only difference between the M21 and the M14 is basically the scope and that's about it. I just wanted to kind of make a new uh, M14 video without remaking it um, to show off that this buttstock is a thing of wonders because these pieces upside down, these pieces are right side up, these and these are sideways, this brick is sideways, all these are upside down, all these are right side up, all this is right side up, of course all this is up right side up. And then these are turned sideways for the most part until you get up into the iron sight, these are right side up. Uh, this was like a uh, really good test build to kind of like test how far I could get into flipping bricks every which direction, trying to get it to come out and looking fantastic and this is part of that this looks absolutely gorgeous as a, a weapon it's really streamlined and fluent into one another really proud of what i was able to do here and hoping that you guys like it as well thanks so much for watching remember to comment rate and subscribe in or to my channel uh i want to thank you for watching it means a lot to me this is the third third video that I'm basically like I, I binge record all my episodes or all my videos and then uh, upload them sparsingly so that I have content and I'm not like uploading it all in one day and then you guys don't have anything with uh, content and this is going to be one of those videos this is the third one so thanks so much for watching remember to comment and subscribe for more videos similar to this one I will talk to you guys later